It's time for another tale from the glass guarded world. With Ashley as Terra Dane, the human fighter, Josh as Zartok, the tiefling wizard, and Gaston, the halfling rogue and bard. Jessica as Coral Perricor, the Genasi druid, and Mama Sass, the half orc barbarian and bard. And of course, Chris as Aster Fortuna, half elf rogue and bard extraordinaire. Our heroes have been hired by the Falling Spear Clan, a tribe of orcs and other humanoids living in the high plains of the belt, the strip of land that runs around the middle of the planet of Jeberor. A giant bird known as a periton has been eating the tribe's cattle and some of the tribe members, and they need help from heroes. Zoomhoog, the orc, has led them to the top of a lonely hill with a large bull named Bubosh as bait. After laying in wait through the night, their trap was sprung in the first rays of the morning sun. detect a slight lightening of the sky to the east, the sun will soon start to come over the Dwarven Mountains there, and that's when the creature appears. It's an enormous bird with a wingspan of at least 40 feet, but its antlered head looks like a cross between a wolf and a deer. Its wing feathers and tail feathers are blue, shifting to orange at the edges. It dives almost straight down out of the clouds, right at the sleeping bull on the top of the hill. Roll for initiative. The Periton has a 17. Zartok, what'd you get? 14. And my important rolls were 12 and 11, so incredibly unhelpful important rolls today. Hmm. Coral, what's your initiative? 18. Ooh. That's good. Tara, what's your initiative? 10. Aster? 5. And we took that, there was that one night of rest, right? Yes, you have a full night's rest. First person to go is Coral. I am going to hold my action to cast Earthbind on the Mm -hmm. bird when it swoops down, but before it gets the bull. Okay. So you're going to hold your action to when it's close to the ground. So that I can control where it comes down, like in the general area. Okay. The periton is next. It swoops down. I'll go ahead and put it on the map here. (laughs) Whoa. That is big. It's enormous. Covers a thousand squares, viewers. Gosh, I (laughs) hope we find an egg. (laughs) It's not very attractive looking either. It looks pretty unfriendly. It looks super attractive. I gotta say, it kind of looks like, based on the picture, that its tongue is lolling out, kind of like a dog. I don't think that's what's actually happening, but that's kind of what it looks like. No, that's not what's happening. I mean, it has a wolf face, so... It's like a majestic Oh, nope, it's terrifying. You zoomed in, it's terrifying. Ah, it's (laughs) so cool. There's no cute lolling tongue. No. This creature zooms down, and it is going to attack this bull. It is close to the ground right there. Do you want to cast your spell? Uh, strength, strength save, DC 15. No. No. It uses a legendary resistance and oh, ignores your spell. Gross. Oh. Oh, snap. Okay. So it swoops down and attacks this bull, shrugging off Coral's spell. Well, that ain't good. That's not good. However, it is aware that something weird just happened, and it tries to attack this bull and succeeds. It's a little nervous because something weird just happened, so it's just going to attack and sort of fly by. It makes this attack, and it hits, and it does some damage to this bull. Oof. Ouch. Not Boobosh! It's the (laughs) listener's new favorite! (laughs) (laughs) And it rakes this bull with its claws and then flies past it. So now it's back up in the air past this bull. It's about 30 feet in the air now past the bull. I will actually just kind of hide it from the map now instead of uh, moving it all over the place. Just keep in mind it's 30 feet up in the air, sort of to the northeast of this bull. It has swooped past it. And that brings us to Zartok. What do you want to do? 
Zartok will assume the spell didn't work and will ready an action to cast web next time it comes closer to the ground. Okay. And he'll try to do it in a way that uh, Terra wouldn't walk into a bunch of webs if she had to fight it, assuming it actually worked. So which area do you want to put it in? Uh, well, I guess it just depends on where it lands, I guess. Yeah, right? exactly. So, all right, so Zartok's preparing to cast web. It won't get to go again until your next turn. So if there's something else, you well, I guess that's the only way you could do this, really, right? Okay, all right, so uh, Zumhug is going to go. Zumhug is going to shoot her bow at it, and she misses. An arrow just goes sailing off into the darkness, and she shouts, Big Bad Bird! Tara, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to pull a zoom hook, and I'm going to shoot my short bow at it twice. Okay. Okay, I got a 15 is my lowest. 15 is a hit. Okay, so then they both hit 13. 13 points of damage? Yeah, yeah, that's the math. All right. Uh, All right, so your arrows strike this bird. This is not a magical bow, right? No, it is not. magical arrows. All right, so you find that your arrows do hurt it, but they don't look like they affect it as much as they ought to. That brings us to Aster. Aster, what do you want to do? Terra's managed to sink a couple arrows into this thing, but uh, no one else has done anything to it. All right, all right, all right. 30 feet above me, so it's at my range. I'm going to I'm gonna swing my guitar around from my back and onto my front, but I'm going to start you know, chiming some weird folky music on my on my guitar and cast hideous laughter. All right, now do you need to make a performance check to make that happen? Um, no, I just did that more okay. for flair. Unless you want me to do a performance. No, no, no. I mean, it's up to you. But you don't have. If it doesn't require that for using the guitar, then no, you don't need to do that. All right, so it has to make a oh, saving throw. Wait, 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 throw, wait. Right? No, you're right. You're right. You're right. There is. I forget. There's always this guitar has things. I must make a performance check. So let me, <laughs> let me see what I get. Because there's negative effects if I mess up. If I get like a oh, natural. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, if I get a natural one or something. Nope, <laughs> nope, it's above 20. The rules. Okay, so, great. So I think it's all so, good. Okay, well in that case, the bird once again shrugs off your the effect of your spell using another legendary resistance. Ah. Oh. Bird em, bird em all. It is going to use a legendary action after Aster goes. It has figured out where you are, (laughs) the group of you, and it swings around, uses a legendary action to make a talon attack. Sorry, a dive attack, a dive attack. (laughs) So this creature swings around and heads straight toward Terra. How dare he? And makes one attack with its talons. Now, no, I'm sorry. A gore attack. It's a gore attack. It's attacking with its horns. T- its antlers. To be to be fair, Mike. Uh huh. The thing that was making the most noise would have been me because I'm playing a guitar. That's true. But you're not the one that hit it. Okay. Okay. As long as as long as okay. There's a reason why it's attacking. Okay. Terror. I see your logic. All right. So 25 AC. Does that hit? <laughs> yes, certainly. All right. So it does. Ouch. Okay. That was almost max damage. Nice. 23 points of damage. Oh, my God. Yikes. No. Uh, Raking Terra with its talons. And then it flies off past her. Question. Yes. Would this have triggered uh, Zartok's web? Um. Yeah, Zartok, if you want, you can activate your web here. Yep. All right. You want to try to web it? Yep. Try to web it. Um, I have one more legendary resistance. Should I use it? Uh, I, I'm going. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna try my saving throw first. All right, Dex 14. It's gonna fail that saving throw, so it's gonna use that last legendary resistance. Yes. So how do we? How does that work in role playing land, Mike? Like so we're casting spells and it's sort of shrugging them off. Do we just? Do we know it has legendary resistance, or do we just assume it succeeded at save? Or how do uh, we? Basically, think it looks like it succeeded at its saving throw. Okay. But, but metagaming wise, would we think like, oh, it's out of legendary resistances now? And now we're, or what? How would how would we think? Um, about that? I, you, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, as far as you're concerned, it is succeeding at its saving throws. That doesn't mean it'll it'll succeed at the next one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't it think we could would fail know. the next one. I don't think we would know if it ran out of legendary resistances. Right. 
And you don't even know that it has legendary resistance. Yeah. It just is it is able to succeed on these saving throws. Gotcha. Okay. Boobosh this whole time has started panicking. Sure. And you can see that Boobosh is now pulling on this rope and trying to get away. Go okay. for it, Boobosh. So, yeah, so uh, Zartok's spell went off and did nothing. Coral, it's your turn. Uh, so is it still here or did it fly away? It has flown past Terra. It has this flyby attack feature. It doesn't trigger attacks of opportunity when it flies by. So now it's like over here and 15 feet in the air. Uh, I'm going to cast Earthbind again. DC 15 strength save. DC 15 strength save. It's saved. Ah. No legendary resistance necessary. Okay. That's it. So it just it just succeeded. Yep. Um, I um, I can't really get away from it. There's not a way on the ledge that I'm at, like where, right where I'm at, I can't scoot further away from it, can I? That's like the edge of the I mean, the you could climb down to a lower level. You could climb down to a lower level. It's only five feet down. Uh, yeah, I'd like to... No, I'll stay there for now. Okay. Now the bird gets to go. And the bird wheels around. Coral, you notice something because you have a very high passive perception. You notice that this bird's shadow, as it flies by and as the sun's starting to come up, this bird's shadow changes shape. And it changes shape from that of sort of a blob to the shape of a humanoid, of a a tall, maybe slightly feminine human. In fact, it looks like Terra's shadow. And it swings around and makes another pass at Terra, starting with a gore attack. Oh, actually, no, that's not what it's going to do. Scratch that. <laughs> it stays where it is, and I need Terra, Zartok, and Coral to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, yay, I'm so good at this. Oh, my God. I got a 19. All right, Terra saves. 23. You saved. 19. You saved. Wow. You guys all saved. You are immune the warp shadow effect for 24 hours so we can't use that ability on you again. Oh, nice. Whoa, okay. what is that? Yeah. You feel like a wave of unpleasant magical energy washed over you, but you all shook it off, the three of you who saved. And that was all the bird did on its turn. So that is the end of that. That means we're on to Zartok. Zartok, what do you want to do? There's this giant bird flapping here looking like it's ready to make another dive at Terra. Yeah, I'm almost thinking after seeing it attack Terra that first time that maybe it would be bad to fight it head-to-head anyway. Maybe webbing it wouldn't be good, but he'll do the same thing again. Um, okay, wait, what's the save? Wait to use... Uh, if web will work where it is, he'll 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 try it. If not, he'll hold his action or ready Oh, you're going to hold your action until it gets to a better place? Okay. Yeah, un- unless that is a good place. I don't think it is, but... It's up in the air at the moment, okay. so there's really nothing really to anchor your web on. All right, let's 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 wait for it to make another pass down. Um, and okay. if he can, he'll squeeze into that little bush right behind him. <laughs> oh, okay, you want Zartok to move into that bush. Yeah, he's going right, to do can... like that Homer Simpson gif where <laughs> right, Homer Simpson it. goes back <laughs> right. into the bushes. That's what's happening. Yes. <laughs> Zartok hides in the bushes... Zumhug's going to go. Zumhug's going to try to use her bow again. And she hits once for a small amount of damage. And again, this arrow doesn't seem to be having the full effect that it ought to have because it's not a magical arrow. And that brings us to Terra. Terra, what do you want to do? I'm going to expend um, a bonus action to use a uh, second wind. Right. So I can get some HP back. Okay, so I got 13 HP back. Good. And then I am going to uh, continue to fire a bow at it since it's the only way that I can hit it right now. Okay. I got a 16 and a 20. Those both hit. And for one of them, I want to make it a menacing attack. Okay. So I'm going to use one of my superiority die, and uh, I'll read it to you. Um <laughs> When you hit with the weapon, uh, with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die to add the total to the damage, and the target must make a wisdom saving throw with DC 15. And on a failure, it is frightened until the end of my next turn. Oh, cool. It, we'll probably oh, okay. pass, but we'll see. DC 15 wisdom save. Failed. Wow, okay. Well, let me get the damage first now. That's 11, and then there's one more. 
That's four. Fifteen. Halved, I guess, but whatever. And he's frightened. Okay. So two more arrows hit this creature, and it looks a little panicky for a moment. It's not used to someone fighting back, I guess. It's going to um, really hate but, my guts now. Yeah, so frightened. What, is the, what does the frightened condition mean? I think they can't, they can't approach the target of the fear, I think. Frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. While the source of its fear is within line of sight, it can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. How long does that last? One round? It's going to be to the end of my next turn. End of your next turn. Okay. So it can't get closer to you. What are the disadvantages it has? It has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Okay. While it can see Terra. Okay. All right. So that brings us to Aster. What does Aster want to do? Well, let's try this again. And I play my little folk song and I... Let me do my performance check. <laughs> How funny is this song? It's like goofy. It's like a goofy. It is funny. I guess. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> very goofy song. It's supposed to inspire laughter. Yeah, I'm fine. My performances are high. Mm-hmm. Um, so the spell works. He needs to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Guys, I'm just rolling rocks here. I'm sorry. I rolled it uh, 18 plus 2, 20. Oh, no. That's another one of my charges. Wait, but he has a disadvantage, doesn't he? No, only on ability checks. On ability checks. checks, but not saving throws. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Mm, yeah, bummer. I thought saving throws at first. I was real excited, and I wasn't. Me too. Sorry. And that is Aster's turn. Coral, what do you want to do? This bird is sort of hovering in the air. It looks like it's trying to circle around, but it just can't bring itself to get closer to Terra. A uh, third time's a charm. Earthbind. All right. DC 15 strength save. Okay. Uh, 15. I just got a 15. Oh, oh gosh. 11 plus 4 <laughs> is 15. <laughs> this thing is going to kill us all. I'm I'm just saving every time. Sorry. I didn't. I, no more legendary resistances, but I know. it's tough. Yeah, that's why I was really hoping to get a low portent roll so we could... Just get it done, but what were your sorry, important rules? Twelve and eleven. Yeah, neither of those would help with that. Yeah, a little too high. That means it is the bird's turn. Now the bird can't get closer, and it can't even use its legendary actions for anything because those are also attacks that require getting closer. So at the end of Coral's turn, it's going to use the legendary action just to to look, just to make sure that it sees everyone who is in the area. That if anybody's hiding, it finds them. Um, and so it just looks around. That's one of its legendary actions. It can just make a perception check. And then it's going to use that warp shadow again. This time it's going to use it on, uh, let's see, who did it use it on last time? Coral, Zartok, and Terra? Yeah. All right, so this time it's going to use it on Aster and Zumhu. Okay. And Boobosh. What was the save for this? Uh, it's a wisdom save. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, Boobosh failed. Zumhug failed. I think I failed. Twelve. You also failed. <laughs> That's funny. The first time around, everyone succeeded. Second time, no one. Yeah. So what that means is you have been cursed with the warp shadow. So this bird's eyes sort of light up, and Aster, it looks at you, and you don't feel right. Something's wrong. And you are cursed. <laughs> <laughs> While cursed, whenever you make an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you must roll a 1d4 and subtract that from your roll. Oh, no, it's like a messed up bane. Okay. You can re-roll at the end of your turn to uh, overthrow this effect, to resist this effect. Okay? So you get more chances to, to avoid this later. Zartok, it hasn't moved anywhere. It's still staying in the same place, just hovering. It just can't get any closer to Terra, so it's just sort of staying in place. I don't know what Terra did. I mean, she's I, she is pretty scary. Uh, huh. I don't know if it's good to keep wasting actions, like waiting for the right time to use web or not. Yeah. Do I? Would Zartok know how many times you've got Earthbind? You can cast that spell, Jessica? I would say we probably discussed it beforehand. Um, yeah, it's, probably so. You guys had talked about it some. It's a second level spell. I have used all of my second level spell slots, but I have three third levels. So technically three times, but I'm probably going to change tactics. Sure, be nice to blow it up. And what, a, and what about um, 
Chris, what about charges on that hideous laughter? Because it's from Action. the guitar, it doesn't waste my spell slots. I have three more charges left oh. before my guitar is out, so I can still use the guitar. Okay. Here's a bit of additional information. This creature looks slightly scratched. <laughs> oh, Ouch. No. I, I like I like that info. All right, so we're gonna have to probably start doing some damage to it. And I don't I don't know creatures like this. I don't think they're smart. But I don't know. Maybe it's brilliant. I don't know if these are. Did oh, we don't talk say ab- that. Tedious laughter. Won't did we work. talk about if the if these are like smart creatures, Mike, with the orcs, or what do we think about this? Uh, they think they're cunning. Cunning. Okay. Um, Zartok will cast uh, Phantasmal Force on the creature. It has to make a 14 intelligence save. And he will give it... Um, I don't know what its save is. I wonder if it will if it would pass with an 11. I'll just do it. It fails. Nice. All right. So I use port and roll on it. Um, all right. So it sees Athelflaed on its back, <laughs> sta- stabbing it repeatedly. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, and it believes Athelflaed's on its back. Right. And so it'll take a D6 of psychic damage every turn. Okay. Every turn? Yep. It's a cost- right. co- concentration spell, though, so. How right, long does it last? So that's three damage. It will last up to one minute, so I'll keep track of that. Okay. So this is the first round of its effect. All right. This is the first round of, uh, what's it called? Phantasmal Force? Yes. All right. First round of that. We're in it now. All right. So that brings us to Zumhug. Zumhug just shouts, Big Bad Bird! And shoots and hits it once. And she does a small amount of damage. So it's Tara's turn. Tara, what do you want to um, do? I'm going to uh, attack it with my sharpo. That's a 15 and a 21. Uh, those are both hits. It's pretty easy to hit. I'm grateful. Okay, and I damaged it uh, seven. Again, it doesn't all seem to be going through. And that brings us to Aster. Aster, this bird stops looking afraid of Terra. And at the end of Terra's turn, it takes a legendary action. Ouch. And it mm-hmm. makes another dive attack toward her. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, it, oh my gosh, uh, 27 to hit. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit. Okay, it makes another dive attack on Terra. Let's see if I can do max damage again. Wish I had cutting words. Uh, nine points of damage this time. Okay. No, I'm sorry. 11, 11 points of damage. Okay. It dives at Terra and then moves back toward the direction of the hill, flying back toward Boobosh, but it doesn't seem interested in Boobosh anymore. Boobosh is yanking at his chain that is tying him to this stone, or yanking at the, the rope, I should say, and it looks like he might get free soon. Hey, Aster, you get to actually take your turn. The legendary action's over, so you get to take your turn. Okay. Um, can I assume it's still moving at the distance it was before? Is it still at 30 feet? It's uh, it's probably about 20 feet from you now. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Hideous laughter. Make your performance check. It's good. Man, it would be so annoying if that failed. <laughs> okay. All right. 14 uh, wisdom saving throw. Failed. Oh. Nice. Oh, snap. Finally. So the creature makes this weird sound. Can you and... Can you do it? Can you do the sound for the no, listeners? No, I can't. I can't do an impression of a giant wolf-headed bird laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't... I don't even have a clue as to what that would sound <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was great. <laughs> I might use that. <laughs> it lands on the ground. It crashes to the ground next to the bull, but it still only has eyes for Terra. I love you too. <laughs> so I guess let me let me read, and because it still has only eyes for Terra. Um, I never read all the way what this does. Um, the target must succeed on uh, incapacitate, unable to stand up for the duration. Oh, does it have an intelligence score of four or lower? No. It's higher than that? 
It's higher than four. Okay. Okay, then it did succeed. Yeah, it's just laughing. Up to a minute. Okay, so it gets to repeat its save next yes, round? Yes, next round. Every round it gets to try to break free. But it's on the ground, I think. We did it! Guys, we made the bird laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. And Coral, it's your turn. The bird is on the ground. Maha, uh-huh. that actually kind of ruined my plans. I mean, it's good, but it's still... Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's good. I'm going to cast Tidal Wave. Ooh, okay. Uh, it creates a um, wall of water up to 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, and up to 10 feet tall that I'm just going to, you know, right across, like, between the bull and us, right across the uh-huh. creature, and uh, DC 15 deck save. Okay. Uh, does it have any when it's when it's laughing? Does it have any conditions imposed? Does it have disadvantage on saves or anything? I think it acts like prone. So yeah, it uh, does. It, they're they're on the ground laughing, so they are prone. Yeah, they fall prone. So whatever the prone conditions are. Ooh. Prone and incapacitated. Yeah, I don't really know what the prone conditions are. First of all, if it's incapacitated, it can't take actions or reactions. If it's prone, disadvantage on attack rolls. No effect on saves. Okay. If it takes damage, the target gets to make another wisdom save to overthrow the uh, hideous laughter effect. Yeah. <laughs> no. But uh, I get to make the saving throw. What's the, uh, what is it a dex? Dex is that what 15. You said? I rolled a 13, so it fails. 26 damage from my Ouch. wall of water. What kind of damage? Um, water damage. Probably bludgeoning. I think it's bludgeoning. It is bludgeoning. All right. We'll count that as magical damage, though, so it's going to go through. 26 points of damage to the big bird, the big bad bird. This wave of water just washes over it, slamming into it. Boobosh doesn't like that either. And that brings us to... Oh, it gets to make a saving throw versus the laughter. 14 wisdom. 13. Failed. Yes. Oh my god, that's so lucky. And that brings us to the bird itself. Uh, It gets to repeat its save at the end of the round. Is that right? Yeah, it's at the end of its turn, I think. The end of each of his turns. Yeah, so it gets to try to repeat its save. It failed again. Oh, my God. Thank you. Great. Rolling dice, God. Okay, so that is the bird's turn. It's just continuing to squawk, lying on the ground, although it's still glaring at Terra. Sartok, your turn. Uh, Athelflaed is on its back. Yep. One, she, uh, 1d6 damage. She says... Uh, stabby, stabby. <laughs> <laughs> And that's four psychic damage. Aw, I just winged her. And it probably can make a save, which is a bummer. Yep, it saves, so the effect ends. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna fireball this bad boy. Yes. Uh, dexterity save. Uh, Dex fourteen save. Really not a great roll. Seventeen. It failed. All right, takes, uh, takes that seventeen damage. Seventeen points of damage. Yep. Now does it get to try to save again? Well, it already saved though. So. Yeah, the laughter effect is gone. It's already saved against it. Okay, okay. All right, so the bird is no longer laughing, and it's now on fire. It looks extremely unhappy. And Zartok, at the end of your turn, it's going to take a legendary action, and it uh, can't move unless it's flying. Oh, yeah, actually, it can still do that. Yeah, so it will go ahead and use its uh, dive attack legendary action and jump toward Terra here. Ooh. Why does it and like make a there? make an attack, a gore attack. It is a twenty-four to hit. That would hit. Okay. Mm, ouch. Tara, you take uh, sixteen points of damage. Okay. How are you looking there, Tara? I mean, cute but hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Zumhu gets to go. She attacks with. Uh, okay, it's on the ground, so Zumhu is gonna drop her bow. And pull out her battle axe. Yeah. She steps up to the bird, and she says something in Orcish, and she hits it once. But again, her battle axe doesn't seem to be doing much to it. Stupid magic resistance. Or, or non-magic resistance. Non-magic whatever. resistance. Tara, it's your turn. The bird is now in front of you, and it's goring you with its large antlers. I'm also going to be dropping my bow and taking out my. Uh, my sword hilt that is a long sword and I will attack twice okay oh my gosh <laughs> that's terrible um 
They're both 12s? Uh, those are, let's see, AC is, mm-hmm. nope, I'm afraid you missed. Okay. I'm going to uh, second, or no, extra attack. Action surge? Yeah, action surge, that thing. So that I can uh, try to actually hit it while it's down here. Okay. Good idea. Oh, nat 20. Um, oh, yeah. Nice. Natural 20. So I get to roll damage right. twice and add... Uh, add your bonus once. Okay, that's a 6 and an 8. Uh, plus 5. Yeah, so uh, 19. 19. And then I'll attack again. And this time I'm going to make it a menacing attack. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Uh, this was this one was a natural one, so it will not be a menacing attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, here comes the fumble table. So Tara is gored by this bird, and she swings desperately at it and misses twice. But with her third attack, she manages to stab it right in the neck, doing some serious injury. But then something happens. Let's see what it is. Roll percentile. Please save me. Twelve. Twelve. But her weapon, after she stabs it into the bird's neck and pulls it back, she pulls back too hard and hits herself with it. (laughs) And she takes two points of damage. Ow. (laughs) I was trying to look cool, and instead I just missed, missed, did awesome, really missed. (laughs) So Tara is looking rough at the end of her turn. Uh, no, it already used its legendary actions this turn. It can't do anything else. Oh, wait, yes, it's on the ground. It can. It has one more legendary action left, so it's going to do a Talon attack on Terra. <laughs> and you take... Oh, no, it misses you. Nope, it misses you completely. Heck yeah, I'm going to do a repost then. Okay. <laughs> yes, I don't know what that is. Do it. It's another uh, superiority attack, so when a creature misses me with a melee attack, I can use my reaction, expend one superiority die to make a melee attack against it, and then if I succeed, I add the superiority die to the damage. That's awesome. Oh my god, it's a 12 again. A total of 12? Yeah, that, that's another miss. All right, and so Terra is desperately fighting off this creature that is definitely trying to kill her. Uh, Aster, it's your turn. All right, okay. I could swing a sword at it. You could? But, uh... <laughs> you could do that. I do want to give somebody a bardic inspiration, so I don't want to do that. So, what I'll do is I will use Dissonant Whispers on it. It's a DC wisdom saving throw of 16. All right. Failed. All right. Finally. Here we go. I go, you stinky poopy head. Die! Okay. For some reason that works. <laughs> right. <laughs> How much damage? It takes 20 damage. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's uh, nice. Because I did it at third level. And then I will use I'm such a bad bard, I should have been doing this more often. I will I will use Bardic Inspiration on Terra. Okay. And I will sing just in general. Whoop! There it is! Whoop! There it is! <laughs> And that's, that's it. <laughs> okay. And for some reason, that's inspiring. Boom, <laughs> chakalaka. <laughs> okay, so that's Aster's turn. I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> Coral, it's your turn. I'm going to run around uh, behind Tara. So she is between me and Big Bird. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, lay my hands on her shoulders and say... Uh, man, this thing really has it out for you. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at third level. I should have maybe moved from my spot. Uh, 20 HP. Nice. 20 hit points back. All right. The bird is still focused on Terra. It has death in its eyes, and it's going to do its uh, full attack on Terra this turn. Ow. So here we go. We have a 21. Does that hit? 21 is my AC. Oh, oh, we have one hit, and then with the talons, that was the gore attack, and with the talons, we have a 12. That's a miss. So it does gore you again. If it gets my AC, it hits me? That's right, yeah. Oh, the person rolling basically wins if it's a tie. Just like if it meets, it beats. Yeah. So that's uh, 11 points of damage with the gore attack, so it again slams its horns into Terra and swipes it with its talons but misses. Zartok. What do you want to do? Sartok fireballs it. Fireball it again. All right. Failed a saving throw. 
Uh, rolls a bit better this time. D&D Beyond's adding up for me. 28 damage. 28 points of damage. So once again, this creature is engulfed in a giant ball of flame. It just disappears in this ball of flame for a little bit, but it's still there when the flame dissipates. And it looks incredibly badly hurt and incredibly angry. And at the end of Zartok's turn, it takes a legendary action. It attacks Terra and misses. Hey, I still don't have a reaction. That's the end of that. I'm imagining it like it was like an anime and there's a big cloud of dust and we're like, yeah, it's dead. And then the dust clears and it's like, <laughs> no. Is this a I'm Dragon Ball Z villain? <laughs> absolutely <Yeah>. not. <laughs> yes. All right, Tara, did you want to use a reaction? Uh, I already used the reaction, uh, so oh, okay. I can't. Oh, oh, I forgot one thing. Sorry. Yeah, what's that? Oh, your uh, psychic Apple, damage. Apple <laughs> stab it. Yeah. She says, where are my sandwiches? <laughs> All right. That's the damage. Uh, four. Four. All and right. And it kills it. <laughs> and it collapses. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Apple, I mean, yeah, Alpha Flood for the win. Amazing. <gasps> Take that, stupid bird. All right. So the creature collapses to the ground under the weight of this illusionary stabbing attack from a halfling. Stabbing. It collapses to the <laughs> ground, and the sun is starting to come over the mountains to the east, and it glows in the side of the hill, and Zumhug sinks to one knee, breathing hard, and she says, mm, not as bad as expected, <laughs> though thought it had brown chest, not blue. Oh, dear. Huh. Did we? And at that moment, oh. a shadow falls over the group. Dear. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> And another periton appears, this one with a brown chest, brown chest feathers, and it dives toward you straight at Zartok. Yep, yep, yep. Screaming horribly. Cool. Mike, what did oh. we do to you? <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. So uh, this other one appears. Coral, make a nature roll. Um, 17. Yeah, this is the mate of the one you just yeah. killed. Yeah. Oh, we done ticked off its mate. Coral, you see its shadow as it comes closer and closer to the ground. Its shadow becomes the shape of Zartok. Zartok, this one's out for you. I'd watch out. Nice. So we're going to continue an initiative. I'm going to roll what this Periton's initiative roll is. Its initiative roll is a total of 20. I forgot That's... I had the short sword of warning. I had advantage on my initiative roll. <laughs> You're not attuned to that, though, are you? Yeah. Oh, what did you deattune from? Did Your it, ring of free action? Didn't I have enough slots? Mm, you were attuned to three things before. Oh, you're right. I'm not attuned to the short sword. Well, didn't I say I attuned to it? So I have to unattune to something. It probably would have been the ring of free action. Okay. We'll continue the initiative order where we were. So uh, Zumhug just basically talks and gets down next to the dead bird. And then you see this new bird appearing. Tara, what do you want to do? Uh, is it in the range of my bow? No, it is still like 60 feet up in the air. I mean, it's in the range of your bow, but your bow's in the ground. Uh, well, here's the problem. I have no magical ability, so I'm going to have to just, uh, you know, sheath my sword and pick up my bow again. Okay. And I guess that's my action right now. All right, so you sheath your sword and pick up your bow. That is actually, I think, your action for the round, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Tara switches weapons. Aster, what do you want to do? Doesn't the, the orc go before me? Uh, well, the orc really basically used her turn inspecting the dead bird and talking, and then these this other bird appeared. So now it's your turn. Now you said it's 60 feet, so I will dissonant whisper it again. Okay. Saving throw. Uh, Fail. 16. Um, and I will... <laughs> the whispers are, I'm sorry about your mate, mate. And then... <laughs> feel like Zartok... Uh, let's see. It does 22 points of damage. Ouch. All right. It chooses not to use its legendary resistance for that. And that is now the oh, bird's bonus. turn. Oh, bonus action. Bonus action. I give another inspiration die, this time to Zartok. All right. And I go, um, in honor of you, Zartok, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the... <laughs> Inspiration. That's Zartok's jam. I think that was Gaston's thing, but yeah, sure. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, he learned from him. So. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so that's uh, Aster's turn, and now the bird gets to go. So the bird zooms straight down toward uh, Zartok. It's going to start with a dive attack that is basically its, le- its legendary action after Aster goes. So let's see if I can move this bird here. This bird lands right next to Zartok, and it starts with this dive attack uh, at 25. Yep. All right, here comes the gore with the antlers. That is uh, 14 points of damage, and then it's going to use its regular round to attack. So starting with a gore and then with talons. Uh, the first gore attack is, sorry, the gore attack, I should say, is 17 to hit. That is my armor class. All right, we have another hit, and this one does only eight points of damage. And then it will do its last attack, a talon attack. And that is a 22 to hit. Yep. And that is uh, 18 points of damage. All right, that's a lot of damage. So this creature lands next to Zartok and just tears into him, screaming at him. How's Zartok looking? Uh, he's got 18 hit points left. Oh, dear. Okay. So that's the end of its turn. Coral, what do you want to do? Uh, Coral's gonna go back where she was, over by Zartok, behind him, between him and the bird. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Still protecting myself a little bit. Uh, yeah, Zartok, this thing's got out for you. And, uh, (laughs) go touch his shoulder. And another third level cure wounds. That's not as good of a roll. That's a terrible roll. 13 HP. All right, Zartok, you feel this healing power flow through you. You get 13 hit points back. Coral's got your back, literally. Thanks, Mike. And at the end of Coral's turn, it's going to use its other legendary action to make a talent attack on Zartok. And Zartok is able to get out of the way. It got a 12. Ooh. Zartok, what do you want to do? This creature is trying to tear you apart. You notice specifically it's aiming at your chest, like it's trying to tear your chest open. <laughs> Yikes. Wow, that's, that's very uh, specific. Yes, it is being very specific. <laughs> I will cast a mirror image. And ah. I, the spell's always more complicated than... All right, never mind. You don't roll for how many images you get in this version of the game. So, no. All right, three, three images of three more Zartoks pop up. Great. And we'll deal with that when it attacks. Me. Yep. I'll read this. I'll learn the spell right now. All right. So Zumhug attacks. And oh, and c- can I do one more thing? Sorry. Yeah. I always forget about this ability. He'll use um, Hellish Rebuke ah. when it attacked him. Uh, okay. And so that's 3d10 fire damage. Did you get a save or anything? Uh, deck save of 13. Failed. All right. That's 20 damage. Ow. So this creature is a little bit injured. Zumhu goes. She's going to attack with her battle axe. Uh, she misses twice. That was terrible. Tara. So it's on the floor, so I... Oh. It's on the ground. It's just... It's not even trying to avoid anyone else's attacks. It's entirely focused on killing Zartok. Okay, I'm going to um, run up to kind of between Zumhu and Zartok. Um, okay, yeah. Because uh, I don't know which image is Zartok, but if uh, actual Zartok wants to get... By my shield, I can try and impose disadvantage when it attacks our talk again. And uh, okay. then I'm also going to attack uh, the thing twice. Okay. This one was a three, so I'm going to use my... Hold on, is it even worth my product inspiration? Three plus eight, eleven. Yeah, it will. Oh my god, it's one. Did I say it was a D8? It is a D8. <laughs> it's a D8? Oh. Uh, okay, so it's Just 14. Sorry, yeah, I'm really bad at math. 14 just hits. Right. That's right, Bardic Inspiration. So that's six damage, and then I'm going to attack it again. And this one's a nat 20. Oh, dear. She's good at critting these birds. So once again, she tries stabbing it, and this time it doesn't bounce back and hit her in the face. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so that's um, 11 plus five. None of us saw it, anyway. In the heat of battle, nobody noticed your little (laughs) terror. Oh, 16 damage. Uh. (laughs) 16, wow. Okay, so this bird is it's somewhat injured now. Bubash is gone. You don't know where he went. Oh, no. 
He has pulled himself loose and run off somewhere. Sure. Aster, it is your turn. Okay. I will yell out, are we trying to kill it? Are we making it run away? And then I will- We're murdering it. At second level, cast um, Dissonant Whispers again. Okay. Leave my tiefling friend alone! It failed. It takes 16 points of damage. All right, so it shakes its head back and forth at the awful noise that Aster is putting into its head. And then I will cruise right in its path. Tara, I'll give her again bardic inspiration. Okay. And this time, oh man, darn it. This is the only song choice I have in my head. Here I go. Do it. Tell me how am I supposed to live without (laughs) you? That's, That's it. Right? I moved. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be sung to Zartok, darn it. I, I, I didn't have another song in my head. All right, so you give Tara Bardic Inspiration? All right. Uh, now the bird gets to go. The bird is still focused on Zartok. It gets all its legendary actions back, too, so, since it's its turn. All right, first we have the gore attack of 15. That. Well, well, is it hitting uh, Zartok or is it hitting an image or? It's, it's trying. Oh, yeah. It was, you tell me. Would a 15 hit? I rolled below a six. So it it is directed at me, but it's below my armor class. So okay. it misses. So it misses. All right. Does it have this advantage because of Terra's imposing a shield? Uh, it does, actually. Yeah, you're right. But only on the first attack. You can impose disadvantage on an attack. So assuming she d- imposed disadvantage on the first attack, now it makes another attack. And it misses. So it doesn't accomplish anything in its round. It just misses. Yeah. Coral, it is your turn. Uh, Coral reaches into her pouch, pulls out some seeds and stuff, crunches them between her hands, and casts Moonbeam at fourth level. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Uh, 40 foot high, 5 foot radius cylinder centered on the creature. Uh, I it need a con save DC 15. Uh, 13. Failed. So it is going to take... Oh, no, wait. You know what? I'm going to use was... legendary resistance. I was going to point out this one has them still. Yep. What's the damage? Half damage? Yeah, half damage, 13 damage. 13 radiant damage. And at the end of your turn, it's going to use the legendary action to try to attack Zartok again. 17. So does it hit a mirror image? Well, I rolled below six, so I think that hits me. That hits you. You take Talon damage, uh, 11 points of damage. All right. And that brings us to uh, Zumhug. Zumhug will attack it twice with her battle axe. And so she misses twice. Terra, it is your turn. No, wait, I'm sorry. At the end of Zumhug's turn, the creature's going to take another legendary action. Oh, dear, Zartok, you won't like this. It's a 20. Let's see if it hit one of your mirror images. It did. Woo! It did. Okay. Whew. Yep. 17. Okay. Lucky you. You avoid taking 4d10 plus 5 damage. But it would have gotten disadvantage anyway, right? Or, or is Terra's thing a one Terra's thing, thing is a one It's a one reaction. Round. Yeah, okay, one reaction. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So that's its turn. Dang. I almost got it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Terra, now it's your turn. Okay. Um, well, I can't heal Zartok, so I'm just going to be attacking. Sure. Just kill it! <laughs> that is my my ultimate goal here. Hold on. All right, this one is a uh, 26. That hits. And that is 11 damage, and then we'll hit it again. Yeah, this time I might add a superiority to it, and I will because it's an unnatural 20. Yeah. So I'm going to try to menacing attack it again. Okay. It makes a saving throw? Yes. What's the DC? Uh, DC 15. Wisdom? Yes, sorry. DC 15 uh, wisdom. Yep, it failed. Nice. So it's scared. It chooses to succeed. Oh, bummer. What a jerk. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was uh, 11 damage. I want this resistance power. How does one get this power? Well, you could roll better on portent rolls. <laughs> oh. Ouch. That's, That's one good. way to do it. Portent rolls are a way to get something like legendary resistance. You just choose to use them. But... 
Yeah, you, you just have to roll better. And that's... I actually prefer them to be low because... Yeah, it's uh, really cool give, to assign them give, to an enemy, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lot better. That was Terra's turn. Aster, what do you want to do? All right, okay. This time I'll pull out the whistling rapier. All right. And I'll point at it and cast Shatter to DC 15 Constitution save, so it might save this time. Saved. All right, it takes, I believe, half of this. Okay. <laughs> Son of a monkey's face. Three points of damage. <laughs> Three points of damage. <laughs> nice. Son of a what? <laughs> Who monkey's <laughs> face. <laughs> All right. That is Aster's turn. Aster tries shattering this creature, but it just doesn't seem to affect it very much. Wait, wait. I have, I have inspiration. Okay. Ah, oh, man. What do I sing? Ah, oh, I have nothing else but this. I don't know why this song came into my head. I pointed at our good friend Coral. <laughs> I, will, I will sing. I love you. You love oh me. Gosh. We're a happy family. Uh, With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. I'm, na, 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 na. I'm real tempted to refuse that inspiration. <laughs> I don't know why that's the sign. But I'll take it. My All childhood right. bubbling back. Chris, I think you've been working too hard. Lately. Yeah. <laughs> you need some time off, man. Aster gives inspiration. At the end of Aster's turn, it's going to use its last legendary action for another talent attack. Oh, we have a hit. Do you want to check and see if it hit one of your mirror images? It did. Okay, so how many have you got left? Na Two? Natural 20, just one. All right. Uh, so now it's its actual turn, and it's going to do a gore attack on Zartok. We have a 27 to hit. See if it hit you or the mirror image. Can I use my reaction again now? Yeah, you can use your reaction to impose okay. disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. I rolled a 20 on that, so nope, it's still going to be still a hit. Uh, it hit me this time. Okay. All right, so Zartok takes, ouch. Zartok takes 16 points of damage. And then it's gonna make its other attack, its talent attack. It's another hit, it's gonna be a 26. Uh, let's see if it hit you or the mirror image. It hit Zartok. Oh dear. Seven on the die. Uh, I rolled a 10 and a 10. That is 25 points of damage to Zartok. Yikes. Hold on. How's Zartok looking? Mangled body. 25? 25 points of damage. All right, Zartok's going down. Is he down? He is down. Well, that Zartok, is bardic inspiration to rise. Zartok hits the ground, uh, unconscious, and the creature begins tearing at his chest. Coral, Coral, it's your turn. Moonbeam is still there, so I yep. need another DC 15 con save. Failed. I'll use my last legendary resistance to save. Uh, then it takes half damage, which is nine. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna touch Zartok and give him a cure wounds for six HP. Zartok is back up to six. <laughs> Going in and out of consciousness as a creature and eats my- And <laughs> Zartok, at the end of Coral's turn, this creature makes a legendary action on you. Okay. And it misses. Wow. And okay. you're, you went unconscious, your concentration is interrupted, so your mirror image is gone. Uh, it's not a concentration spell. Oh, it's not? Oh, no. so it's just an unconscious Sur image of Zartok lying next to you. Surprisingly, yeah. Okay, all right, that's cool. That's awesome. It might not have hit you anyway. Zartok, what do you want to do? Uh, Zartok wakes up, and a creature is eating into its his chest. Yes, it's tearing <laughs> at your chest. Uh, Coral is leaning over you, and her hair is moving. Like, there's no wind, but her hair is moving and snapping like flame. It's real cool looking. Oh, I'm so jealous. Wow. I keep forgetting to use that. <laughs> She's channeling energy into you, and you're feeling yourself coming back to consciousness, but at the same time, this bird is over you, trying very clearly to dig into your chest. Mm, <laughs> yes. So what, what, is there somewhere Zartok can go nearby that the creature would not know where he is? Within 500 feet, say. <laughs> sure, you could hide at the base of the other side of the hill. Is it like... Is there like a little enclave in there so it couldn't see him that he knows? He would have scouted this out prior to, you know, well, prior to said battle. So here's the deal. This hill is steep enough that on the other side, like let's say the east side of this hill, 
if you hide down there in the bushes, it can't see you because the hill is in the way. All right. Zartok's going to dimension door into that bushes All right. spot. Image go with him, or is it just staying there? The image goes with him. So Zartok disappears, and unbeknownst to any of you, reappears somewhere else off the side of the hill. And the creature looks completely befuddled. Like, it doesn't know what to do about that. Uh, in fact, it's not even going to use its legendary action. Oh, yes, it is. It's going to use its legendary action to make a perception check. <laughs> yep, it can do that. It's got a detect action. And it looks around but can't see Zartok because Zartok is not within the field of view. It's not even possible to see him. So that brings us to Zumhook. Zumhook will attack it. I think she got a hit this time. She got a hit this time. She got two hits. Two hits from Zumhug with her battle axe uh, doing a little bit of damage. Okay. And so Zumhug is slashing into this giant bird, cursing at it in orcish, uh, but not having much effect on it. Tara, what do you want to do? I am going to also slash in it with wild abandon. Okay. Make your attack rolls. Okay, um, I got a, uh, a 15 is my lowest one. 15? Yeah. That's a, that, that's a hit. Cool. Um, and I'm going to make a, one of them a uh, menacing attack. Yeah, but we'll fail. So 15 DC wisdom save. Failed. Heck yeah, so now it's frightened. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm rolling my damage now. Hold on. 13. And okay. then and a 5 and a 5. So 13 again. So as... This creature is desperately looking around, trying to find Zartok so it can tear out his heart. Terra takes advantage of that distraction, and she shoves her sword straight into the thing's neck and slices the creature's head off. Oh, and, yeah. it, oh, and it nice. falls to the ground. It is nice. very scared. What do you know? Yeah, that, I'd say that's pretty scared when your head just falls off like that. <laughs> I hate it, it when that happens. It can be a trophy. A trophy for our spell jammer. The second periton is dead. Zumhug stops and looks around cautiously. Coral looks around as well. And a third yeah. one appears. Is there oh, another one? Sarah's going to answer uh, Azard's question. Uh, we definitely uh, wanted to kill it, because otherwise they would just have the same problem where the periton gotcha. is. I was just pondering whether to use a spell to make it go in a different direction. Yeah, and then there's going to be like, Zartok? <laughs> <laughs> like, is he alive? He was yeah. he was right here. He just disappeared. I don't know what yeah. happened. Like shouting his name. Yeah, he's not there invisible. He is gone. Zartok, in the distance above the hill, and you can hear muffled shouts of people calling your name. All right, he'll he'll lumber back up the hill. <laughs> leaving, a, <laughs> leaving a trail of blood. Looking like literal death. <laughs> yeah. Leaving <laughs> a trail of blood. <laughs> yeah, Zartok limps up the hill. Eventually, he makes it up there. Horribly injured. Tara pats him on the back. And uh, Zumhug is looking around, satisfied. She calls down to Bauger and tells Bauger to go find uh, Bubosh. But she's very satisfied. She says, you, take feathers. Take talons. Yeah. 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 I think we should take their hearts. Just like they were trying to take our friends. I, I don't know if that's going to sell well, but <laughs> if you want to. Man, those guys get real focused. They got like laser. They're they're headed directly for something. They don't turn around. Man, yeah. Good thing it was me. Zartok will look to his tail and say, "That was close, mate." <laughs> yeah, Zartok. When you teleport below the hill, your tail was tucked behind you, hiding from the brutal blows of this giant bird. And and when you reappeared on the bottom of the hill safely, your tail slowly emerge from hiding and now it's sort of jauntily bouncing behind you victorious. I got the tail talks to you. <laughs> so, you have successfully defeated the monstrous periton. That was close for poor Zartok, but you pulled it out. Good job. So there are feathers everywhere. It's just a mess of blood and feathers and what are you going to take as trophies from this dead giant or from these two dead giant birds? Uh, those sweet horns, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So you start um, cutting cool. off the antlers, maybe collecting some feathers. Oh, for sure. Some feathers, yeah. some talons. As many feathers as we can okay. take. Okay. So you get to work. 
while you're starting to cut some of this stuff off of the carcasses, you hear a voice behind you, and it says, Well, 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 look what I found. Look what you found. I wondered where my pretties had gotten to. It took someone long enough to dispatch them. I don't suppose you're heroes, are you? Hold on a moment. The dog here is barking to come in, and I need to get someone to let this dog in because I am sitting here. Hold on a moment. Let him let him play uh, boobosh. <laughs> <laughs> let what? Let the dog play boobosh? Yeah, someone's got to play boobosh. <laughs> All right. So ninety-three points. Uh, sorry, twenty-six <laughs> points of damage. Whoa. Yeah, yes. that would be weird. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was close. I had to look up. I forgot what massive damage rules were. I had to look those up real yeah, quick. Yeah, you weren't close to the massive damage rules. Though. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize it was max hit points. I thought it was Constitution score for a second. And I think that's an that old edition rule. That would have happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's three point five. Uh, I have to figure out what the experience point. Do you want the experience points? Oh, oh yeah. 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 You would like experience for these. Well, right away, right for, after the combat, for you fighting both of them. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna get to eight, but yes, I would still like it. Okay, let me figure this out. Oh, we have to share the experience. Well, at least it's level three. I mean, come on. With what's her name? Uh, that was a deadly encounter. What does deadly mean? Like we should have died. A deadly encounter could be lethal for one or more player characters. Survival often mm. requires good tactics and quick thinking, and the party risks defeat. All right, so that's 3,000 experience each. All right. Oh, so cl- Wait, maybe? Yeah, I'm still like 4,000 away. Does that mean Mama Sass got 1,500? Yes. I leveled up, finally. Wow, nice. Aster is level eight. So I need to wait for a long rest, right? Uh, yeah. If we could get 39 experience, that would be great. 39? <laughs> yes. Wow. That Are hurts. you serious? I'm serious? Uh-huh. Wow. We, we need to get Ashley some some story experience or something. <laughs> yeah. we'll just... I'm gonna go stab a rat or something. <laughs> there was a bit of yeah. there was a bit of story experience in that. I, okay. I rounded it a bit. Um but wow. Never seems like enough experience points. Word. I never noticed how campaigns like, especially this long, because we've done a hundred episodes and we're only level seven. So story-driven campaigns really are about this story. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a is that like a public service announcement? Yeah, Chris? A, what just happened? Yeah, that is a public know. service. <laughs> <laughs> story-based stories are about story. <laughs> How many times can I say story? <laughs> The characters are leveling slowly because they're focusing on role-playing and not grinding through combats. 